Yo, what is going on everybody? I just hit my head on the desk that fucking hurt! It is your boy Crypto. welcome back to another video, or welcome to the first video if this is the first time you've ever seen me. Uh, today I'm gonna be checking out Charlie Puth Light Switch. And, uh, is it Puth or Puth? I, I don't ever know, I said Puth. Whatever. Uh, but yo, this is gonna be completely different than anything I've ever reacted to, I already know. It's gonna be more poppy sounding because I've heard the snippets on TikTok for, I feel like, a year now. I've been waiting on this to drop forever. I've been really involved in the TikTok a lot l lately. I just hit 100,000 followers. Big fun time over there. And I've just seen this man tease the ever-loving shit out of this song. And I'm gonna listen to it by, by God. I don't give a shit. But here we go. This is Light Switch, Charlie Puth. This man literally wrote half the songs you've probably ever listened to in your entire life. But here we go. Blah! You do not look like that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Why you calling at 11:30 when you only wanna do me dirty? But I hit right back cuz you got that that yeah. Why you always wanna That's act gross. like lovers but you never wanna be each other's. Damn. I say don't look back but I go back back in. I like that line already. Why do you wanna act like lovers but you don't wanna be each other's? That's a very metaphorical right there. And I can already see where this video is going. Um, he, it looks like he's he lost a girlfriend or he lost somebody. He's scrolling through looking at him on the phone. And then he sees this commercial light switch aerobics. And um, yeah, he needs to switch his body up, blah, blah, blah. He's eating sour cream and onion chips. He looks like a piece of shit right now. Uh, so he's obviously going to get into the gym and fix his body up. And I guess go back for the woman of, that he loves. I say don't look back, but I go back, back. You turn me on like a light switch when you move Oh, that was, a, that was a dope ass transition. Uh, you turn me on like a light switch. Obviously, you got the light switch. You turn me on like a light switch. You arouse me. Um, but I, I love the way the song is organized right now. When the beat drops out and you hear him only talk about the light switch part. And you, know, you got me hypnotized every time I'm about to walk away. You turn me on like a light switch. Very uh, commercial sounding song, obviously, just because this is like the commercial guy. But there's a reason for it. I mean, it's very relatable messages. And uh, let's see what the rest of this music video has to offer. I love breaking down music videos, too. I love seeing the metaphorical stuff in them. When you're moving your body around and around, now I don't want to fight this. You know how to just make me want you to turn me on like a light switch. When you're moving your body around, It's a cool ass sample of the light switch. Do you love it when you keep me guessing? Me guessing. When you leave and then you leave me stressing. Me stressing. Uh, uh, but I Man, can't stay. I really back. love that. Uh, 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 that little thing in the background. It sounds cool. When you walk like that, no. Uh, why you always want to act like lovers? But you mm. never want to be each other's. Good vibrato in his voice right I there. Don't look back, but I go right back in. All of a sudden, I'm hypnotized. You're the one that I can't deny. Every time that I sing, I'm gonna walk away. Yeah. You turn me on like a light switch. All right, bringing it back to the hook here. I love that he's like metaphorically cleaning up his life because like it's it, it is a fact of life if stuff is clean around you you immediately feel better like if the studio was cleaner I would feel better and more productive inside of the studio same with your house same with your car same with like your face when you shave when you get a haircut you automatically feel better about yourself just because you look better and like it's an emotional boosting of confidence and that's what this whole video is about he's like boosting his own emotional confidence boosting his own morale by just cleaning up his act slimming down getting a healthier lifestyle he's even painting his fence because his fence looks like shit and he's just making everything look better around him and just in, in essence be better um but as far as the song yeah very commercial sounding again and uh, yeah we'll keep it moving forward you know how to just make me want you to turn me on like a light switch when you're moving your body Like a 
around and around. And around. Is he singing at his girlfriend's house? Like this. You know how to just make me want to. So he did all this, he cleaned his life up, you know, lost all this weight, shaved, got a haircut, just cleaned everything up just to go back to his girlfriend's house, ex-girlfriend's house, and she's with someone that looked exactly like he was when he was a piece of shit. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, nice. So, uh, I guess there's some other meanings right there that it's not always the looks. Maybe, like, internally Charlie's just a piece of shit. Or maybe she's a piece of shit, and she's attracted to other pieces of shit. So whenever he, you know, he, physically he looks like a piece of shit, but inside he was always a nice guy. And she's like, I don't want the nice guy, I want the piece of shit that looks... I want the physical piece of shit, and I want the emotional piece, piece of shit, the personality piece of shit. And so she went with the other piece of shit guy that was on the doorstep right there. So Charlie's actually probably the really good guy. And now his outside matches his inside personality. The other guy's just a piece of shit and matches the piece of shit personality that the girl has. So they're both big heap of piles of pieces of shit. That's the breakdown. That's the end of this one, guys. Uh, I, I really did enjoy this song, though. Like I said, it's not stuff that I typically listen to, but I can a absolutely respect the artisanship behind the song and, like, just... There's so many different methods that he used that I hear in so many different commercial songs where it's like uh, like opening verse, hook, shorter verse, hook, soloed out, hook, hook. Like that is just the typical, um, I don't know how to, what am I saying? The typical rubric of a song, of a commercial sounding song. And he did that to a T right here. But uh, the mixing on this sounded phenomenal. A lot of different layering in that last hook. It changed up the meaning of the last hook just a little bit. It's, it's a very good song. So uh, I'm glad that this song is finally out. And uh, let me know how you guys felt about it. If anybody even watches this, this is completely different than what I listened to. But uh, yeah, that's the end of this one, guys. And until next time, it has been your boy Krypton. I'm signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. That's just some made up shit to hide my name from people that want to know me. But I can't let no one get close because the last one to stab me was my homie. Bro, please. You don't know what it's like to get on the mic and rap about your life to thousands just for someone to reply that they hope you die. And your music should never be allowed in.